Ten days after the wildfire disaster in Maui, the island's top emergency official has resigned after criticism of his decision not to sound emergency alarms as the grim search for the missing goes on. Here's Miguel Almaguer. All right, we're going to do a follow squad three down here. As the grim search for the missing approaches its 11th day and the death toll continues to climb, tonight Maui's top emergency management official has resigned. Citing health reasons, Herman Andaya has stepped down amid withering criticism. He literally failed to sound the alarm. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. As the nation's deadliest fire in more than a century ripped through Lahaina, Andaya never activated the emergency sirens most often used for tsunami warnings, saying had he done so, he feared the public would have moved towards the fire in the hills. Counties in the state of Hawaii will tell you that sirens have not been used for brush fires. But Maui County's website lists wildfires among the very hazards sirens can be used for. The siren is instant, immediate. It's going off. Something's going on. I'm alert. It's sort of difficult to believe that you would be compelled to run toward flame. Amid the growing frustration, a new NBC News review of public meeting records found Andaya repeatedly downplayed the use of sirens, calling them a last resort. If I would have had access to that button, I would have pushed it. Do you think the sirens going off would have saved lives? I do. Yeah. Andaya's resignation comes as Hawaiian Electric faces multiple lawsuits, alleging the utility is to blame for igniting the fires. The power company says it doesn't comment on pending litigation, stressing the causes of the fires have not been determined. It comes as the death toll balloons to well over 100, with more than half the burn zone searched. I'm heartbroken, bro. I'm heartbroken. Um, words cannot explain because I keep hearing, of, you know, people I know that, that I care about is, is still unattended for. With upwards of a thousand people still unaccounted for, the few who have been identified so far are mostly the elderly. The latest, 71-year-old Donna Gomes, known for her tough love and big heart. Perhaps closure for one family, as so many others brace for the same. I want accountability. It destroyed more than half of the people we know. And just now, like, we're seeing the pictures of um, <sighs> we're seeing the faces, the pictures of the people we lost. Tonight, the pain here unimaginable, as is the loss. Miguel, it's been so long now. These stories of the missing are heartbreaking. I know behind you, the search continues in the burn zone. It does, Lester, and now the ATF is on the ground. Their job is to get to the bottom of what started this fire. By the end of this weekend, authorities hope to have the entire burn zone searched, but we also expect the death toll to spike dramatically. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.